We do not have to move on. And I want our viewers and subscribers to be very well aware that we are going to be playing a video. Uh, it has to deal with the murder of Ahmed Aubrey's uh, killing. This happened on February 23rd in Georgia. Again, viewer discretion is advised. I do apologize if this uh, is far too sen if, if this is far too much for a lot of our viewers. We understand if you look away, but I think it's important that we see this video. Uh, Gunner, um, would you kindly please play this video? All right, uh, just for context, again, I do apologize for anyone who had to see that video. We saw a man die. Um, prosecutors previously failed to decline to file charges against Gregory Mitch Michael, uh, McMichael, a former police officer and investigator uh, in the Glen County, Georgia District Attorney's Office, and his son, Travis, who appeared to chase and shoot down Aubrey in the video. Aubrey, who was 25, was jogging through a residential neighborhood outside Brunswick, Georgia, on February 23rd when Greg McMichael saw him. McMichael told police, assumed Aubrey was a suspect in a string of recent break-ins. Gregory and Travis began chasing Aubrey through the neighborhood in their pickup truck. Arn was a 35, 7 Magnum revolver and a shotgun. In the video taken by a witness in another vehicle, Aubrey is seen jogging near McMichael's truck when a gunshot is fired. He is then seen struggling with a man who's holding a shotgun while another man holds a firearm in the bed of the truck. Several shots are fired before Aubrey falls to the ground. Um, yes, this, this happened, and we need to talk about it. Um, because, again... Um, what concerns me is that while this video is out and needs to be shared, people need to hold those individuals accountable for the murder of that young man. How many more other incidences are like that nationwide? How many more young men and women, especially people of color, have been executed like that? Probably the number is far too high for us to even realize. This is a horrible situation and something must be done in Georgia, something must be done nationwide. This is a clear act of violence and murder and a young man who was 25 years old lost his future because some guy made an assumption, some guy chose to make an assumption with his son to go ahead and take the law into their own hands and try and be heroes when whatever kind of weird fantasy they were thinking about but a young man is dead now. And we need to share this video. We need to share it as much as we can and bring awareness so that Ahmed Aubrey's family has justice. Uh, Kira, Daniel, I'd like to ha have your comments on so this, please. So one thing that uh, infuriates me, it's the same thing I hear when police shoot any minority. Oh, I was scared. Sorry, I was very scared. Mm -hmm. In this case, their response is, oh, he looked like some guy that was... Just, just some black guy. He just like some black guy. You know, the black people break into shit. So, you know, we, we killed him uh, because that's that's how we roll. Um, this is disgusting. Uh, this These are people that uh, have... I don't think you really have redemption. These are people that are literally driving around with guns in their car looking to pick someone off. This looks to me like something that is uh, premeditated... Uh, because again, you don't. It, it, I don't care if you if you have guns with you. You don't go around like it. This is like this is what you would expect when you talk about ISIS going around with guns in the back of pickup trucks looking to find mm -hmm. people that they mm -hmm. don't like to come. This is exactly what this looks like. And from what I understand, uh, these are wealthy. These are two wealthy white guys. So I guess they're like, hey, let's you know, quarantines happen. Let's do a Hunger Games. Why not? Nothing to do. Let's this, just go did, kill this, this did take place on February twenty third. Okay, so took, okay, took a while. Okay. Regardless, yeah, just, just had to make is, a correction. This is this is America right here, guys. This is charges are filed. Why? Well, I mean, it's, it's just some black guy. Who the fuck cares if he's uh, if he's shot or not? It's this people. This is the country we live in. This is the country where you can jog down the street. You can 
break up a fight after selling hypothetically selling loose cigarettes. Uh, you can run around with Skittles, yeah. and that's perfectly legal. You can have mm-hmm. a BB gun. Um, perfectly legal reason to kill you, apparently. Yeah. Now, if this was the other way around, and these were, I don't know, two black gentlemen that were in a pickup truck, and they had guns, and there was some white lady uh, in pink something mm-hmm. or other jogging down the block, and they just shot her with a shotgun, I think that charges might be filed a little bit quicker. I just want everyone's asking uh, where this happened. Um, again, this happened outside Brunswick, uh, Georgia. So this is where this took place. Um, and I'm asking everyone, you know, let's let's try and bring some awareness. Kira, I want to have your commentary on this. Yeah, too. Um, yeah. This this story definitely um, reminded me of the. Uh, 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 why am I blanking on the the name of the the kid with the skittles? Uh, Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Case, yes. Where it was like, oh, this person is is causing trouble by doing absolutely nothing and being black in public. Um, you know, this person was a 25 year old guy uh, jogging. This the one of the one of the dudes, one of the guys that murdered him was a former a, a former officer. Um, and they were out doing vigilanteism, apparently, um, and decided to murder this this guy based on something. Uh, and also, you know, what, what's really outrageous about this story is that there were no charges brought before anybody around this murder until this video um, surfaced. Yeah. And actually, the family had been requesting this fitted footage for some time and they kept getting denied and uh their the family's actual first viewing of um their family members death murder was from the internet yeah. i think as a final note for the story is um we need to share videos like this we need to bring awareness to this because i hate saying this and this is uh very devastating but here's a real fact there's probably more incidences like this nationwide all across this country. And these videos are probably buried or right now hidden because no one wants to talk about it. But we must show this. We must talk about it. And we must bring more light to this. I want to add one thing. Well, this, yeah. The sad truth is that if we lived in a just country, a fair country, et cetera, et cetera, we wouldn't need to cover this. Do you know why? Because the police would have already arrested them, they would already be on trial, and they would be off to be convicted in jail for many, 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 many years, possibly death, depending on the state. Now, the sad truth of it is, is that if we don't show this footage, if this footage does not get online, there is no justice. We already know that. We already know the outcome. If I'm not mistaken, now that the video is out, there are charges that are being filed. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. So there you have it. So the fact is that the value of justice varies in America. If you're some black guy doing nothing and you're jogging down the street and you're 25 and you're shot, well, who the cares? This, this retired deputy, he's word man is more. You probably came in. You probably did break into that place and steal everything and they were justified in murdering you. But if you have it on video, now all of a sudden it's not a he said, she said. It's a, hey, police, this is a pretty obvious murder. Are you going to do anything about it? I know it's your boy, your bad apple that you, that you really love. You cultivated in your bunch of apples who are definitely also a little contaminated at least. But the fact is if we don't show videos like this, these guys have no justice. It's that simple. If we live in a just world, we wouldn't need these videos. But the fact that we don't means that we have to shame the police to do their own job that they should have done in the first place. All right. Um, We are now going to move on to our next story. And again, just before we do, um, to the family of – sorry, let me just get his name correct again. Um, Ahmed Abri, we do send our deepest condolences. But again, everyone who's watching, there's probably more videos similar to this situation nationwide, and it must be brought to attention. We must share this. Because if we live in a civilized society, like we pride ourselves, like we say we do, then action must be taken. Because I do believe that the world is filled with good people, and we are fighting for a better future. Let us act on that dream. Let us actually make sure we treat each other with dignity and respect, and making sure that there is justice 